Okay, let's do example three and four for section three, four. And we were finding those rational zeros. So how can I be confident that a function has no rational zeros? Um, so let's look at that example, an example of that. So we're gonna find the rational zeros for x to the fifth. I'll write that as a one x to the fifth. x cubed plus three. So the rational um, theorem tells me that if we do have them, right, they'll fit this pattern. So our possible zeros were plus or minus, and then we did factors of the constant term, so it'll be factors of three here, so that'll be three or one, divided by factors of the um, leading term, which is just one. So there's not many options here. We have plus or minus three and plus or minus one. So the only options are three, negative three, one, or negative one. So I'm just gonna plug them all in. And if none of these are zero, um, then we don't have an option right now. And we'll come back to them. So three to the fifth, what's that? Three times three times three, we get 27, 81. So the fifth power would be 243 plus 3 cubed plus 3. So I don't know what this is, but it's clearly not 0 because I just keep adding numbers. But if you wanted to check what we get, plus 27 plus 3. So 273, I think. Whatever whatever it is, right? It's, not, it's clearly not 0 if we just keep adding numbers. Let's try negative 3. So negative 3 to the 5th would just be negative 243 minus 27 plus 3. Um, this is clearly not 0, but it ends up being negative 267, not 0. As soon as we know it's not 0, we don't really care what the value is. Um, 1 to the 5th plus 1 cubed plus 3 is 5, also not a 0. And then negative 1. Um, we get minus 1, minus 1 plus 3, we get 1, which is also not 0. So that means this has no rational zeros, because none of the possible zeros work. So it probably has zeros, and we can check out Desmos. They're just not rational. Um, so they might be imaginary, or they might be complex, and so let's check it out. So x to the fifth plus x cubed plus three. So it looks like maybe we have one that's irrational, right? That's just a decimal that goes on forever. And then the rest are probably complex zeros. Right, this is not a rational number. It's not letting me click on it, but rational means it makes a fraction. So it's just one of those ugly decimals. So it just means it has zeros, they just, the zeros are probably, are complex or irrational. And we'll figure out how to deal with those later. All right, let's do um, one more rational zeros example um, with fractions. So we're trying to, Basically, we're trying to solve this equals zero. I have a feeling none of us want to deal with fractions, and so since we're solving for zeros, we can actually just multiply both sides. I'm going to multiply by two, because that's my LCD. And that works, because it'll still be zero on the right side, so we're still solving for zeros. So we get 2x to the fourth, 5x cubed, plus 3x squared, minus 1x minus 1 equals 0. And this function will have the same zeros. And now we don't have to deal with fractions. So we're going to find factors of 1 over factors of 2. And then we don't have to worry about negative signs because the plus or minus will take care of that. So it looks like we'll have one plus or minus one over one or two. So our options are 
plus or minus one or plus or minus one half. So we'll just plug some in, see what works. Um, you could also immediately do long division. Some people prefer long division over plugging in. So I could show you what that looks like. So we'll just start with one and see if one works. This would be the alternative to just finding f of one. So we get two, two times one is two. We get seven, seven, 10. Hopefully we're getting better at synthetic. Um, we get 10, we get 9, and then we get 9, and then we get 8. So since we have, oops, I messed something up. No. Yeah. Since this is not 0, right, remember the remainder has to be 0. So this really just means f of 1 equals 8, which is not 0. So this one's not a 0. So let's try negative 1. So for some of us, this might be easier than plugging in. 2, we get negative 1 times 2 is 2, we get 3, negative 3, 0, we get 0, negative 1, 1, 0. So f of negative 1 equals 0, right? Remember that remainder theorem a while ago. So now we have x minus negative 1, and then we'll have 2x cubed, because we start with x to the fourth, so this is 1 degree less plus 3x squared, plus 0x minus 1. And now I'll just kind of guess and check with 1 half and negative 1 half. You could also try negative 1 again. So maybe let's check for multiplicity before we do, um, before we do 1 half or negative 1 half. Remember, multiplicity just means it would be x minus 1 squared or cubed. So by doing long division again, we can check for that. And so we'll do negative 1 into this polynomial, 2, 3, 0, negative 1. We get 2, negative 2, 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1, 0. So that means it actually has a multiplicity of 2 because it worked again. So that means we actually have minus 1 squared. And then we have a polynomial, 2x squared plus x minus 1. And then at this point, you could probably factor, quadratic. Um, what else could you do? You could technically continue with synthetic, but usually by the time I get to um, a quadratic, I prefer to just do old methods. So I'm going to factor. It'll be 2x and x, because that's the only way to make 2x squared. It'll be 1 and 1. And then it looks like it'll be minus 1 and plus 1. So minus 1x plus 2x will bring me back to 1. And then what I notice is actually the plus one shows up again, so it actually had a multiplicity of three. And two x minus one. So we have x equals negative one with a multiplicity of three. And then two x minus one would give me one half with a multiplicity of one. And notice one half was one of my possible um, zeros. So if you are getting a rational one, it should fit that pattern. The only reason it doesn't fit that pattern is because it's irrational or it's complex. Um, so hopefully this helps. Um, if you had done one half first, you would have gotten the same answers, just taken a different path. Um, so I'll see you in the next video.